what do you see as your role? I mean, uh, JD's gone now, so do you feel like it's for you to, and Rojo to take over? Is it is it a one two step, the Texas two step, or yeah. you know what do you see as your is your role in this uh, this running back group now? Uh, right now, I'm still trying to establish my role. Um, there's a lot of competition right now, as you can see. We got the new guys coming in. We still got Vi, James Tolan, all the all the other backs. Um, so you know, it's still still trying to find my place in there. You know, it's coming along. You know, I'm, I think I'm doing pretty good, and you know, we'll see by the end of this thing. Are you looking for like a specific role as you come in? You you're the third down back, or you're you know the short yards guy. Do you want that, or do you feel like uh, you know all you guys are kind of you know just kind of. It's just mix and match when you get thrown out there. Or do you guys kind of have set roles with Dylan so far? Uh, I feel like we all can do everything. Um, I, don't feel, I don't think I have a set role as being like a third down back or whatever. Uh, I feel like if I get in, I can, I can play a first down, second down. I'm every down back. That's what I feel like. And, um, that's how all of, we all are. Like We all are third down. I mean, every down back. So, like I said, the role part, we'll see how that turns out in the end. But, you know, we don't know for right now. What areas are you working on this fall camp in particular? Um, my hands, um, footwork, just trying to get my speed better and stuff like that, um, vision, you know, things like that, just to really become a complete back and, like, all those important, small but important areas. Since coming here, you know, as a freshman, you got some play time then, now you're the upperclassman, what's the biggest difference? <laughs> and, um, it's more of a leadership role. Uh, like you said, I'm an upperclassman now, so we got the young guys looking up to us, asking us questions, and you know we they expect us to know everything, and we have to be there for them to lead them, to teach them, and we show them the way. So that's the biggest difference. What have you thought of those young guys so far? Yeah, those guys are good. Uh, they, they're doing their thing. They came out here. They're, they're proving themselves. And they, they got a bright future out there. You guys are now 10 deep, uh, you know, yeah, with, with a couple walk-ons out there. Yeah. How different is that from being, I mean, it used to be those three or four of you guys. Right, it's refreshing. <laughs> I can get breaks now. But, but yeah, it's, this, is, this is a big difference having 10 backs. And it feels good. Like, everybody's not getting gashed um, every down. Like, we're not constantly running many plays back to back to back. We're all rotating. Everybody's getting playing time, so it, it feels good. What's been the biggest difference with Dylan as a coach? Uh, you know, coming in a new position coach this year for a third year in a row here. So, uh, what's been the biggest difference from from the other guys for for him? Uh, coach McCullough, he's he's more of a he makes everything easier. He makes the reads easier. He makes he try to make things as simple as he can, so it won't so we won't be out there thinking too much while we're playing. He's more he's like a play fast guy. Um, he loves footwork. <laughs> if you don't have footwork, he, he don't like it. Nah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But he just he's a he's a he's a um, how can I say he's a very detail oriented guy, and you know, I like that about him. One of the things he's emphasized is running through the trash. Uh, yeah, I know he's yeah, talked yeah. about that a couple times with us. Um, that seems to be something that that would you know fit your game maybe best out, out of that group. Right. Um, do you see that as an opportunity? You know, that's something that coach likes, and that's something I can do pretty well. Uh, yeah, that's something I, I feel like I do pretty well. I still have to improve on that in that aspect of my running game, and he is very passionate about running through trash, uh, keeping your legs moving. Um, breaking arm tackles, and yeah, like I said, that's something I feel like we all have to improve in, but that's something part of my game that I feel like I'm, I can be great at. You're very close with Rojo. It seems like he's kind of taking, is going to have the first opportunity at least to take that feature back role. What have you seen the biggest improvements to him when you guys came in together? Yeah, Rojo, his biggest improvements is, to me, is his confidence in his hands. Um, he's been working, like he working day in and day out on his hands, and you can really see it all coming together out here on the practice field. And we're all proud of him for it. We all pushed him and made sure he got it together. So, Get him a touchdown catch today. Yeah, what did you exactly. think of that one? Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was sweet. I, I was like, oh, that was Rojo. <laughs> yeah, but that was, that, was, that was dope. It seems like everybody's been surprised when he makes some catches now, <laughs> but it seems like it's happening more and more yeah, often. It's happening often. Like I said, he's been working that day, and I'm proud of him for it. So he's going to be great.